Android devices have always been so powerful, so much so that we see the variety of great apps these devices can host. From video game console emulators to video editing apps, Android devices are more than reliable for all your tech needs. For this reason, we see people film and edit their YouTube videos on their Android devices. And now, video making and content creation have never been easier. You might be thinking, if this is possible, surely making something like a simple thumbnail for my YouTube video is surely doable in an Android device? You would be right. And in this video, we will explore some of the best apps that help you do just that. Canva Canva is a graphic design app, as well as being an online graphic design tool. Canva is the app to have for all your content creation needs. Not only is it free and a great photo editor, but also a video editor on top of all that. Canva's shtick is that it is an easy graphic design tool to use. It streamlines a lot of the complicated processes that go into creating great content for social media, and this is why you see a lot of businesses use it in their social media content creation. For this very reason it works very well as an app. Think about it, you can't make Illustrator into a simple phone app, but you definitely can make Canva. But less about why Canva works well and more about what it can offer you as a thumbnail editor. If you don't want to spend much time on making a thumbnail, Canva offers a variety of ready-to-use templates that you can also customize to make your own. In terms of photo editing, it offers all of the run-of-the-mill editing features. Cropping, flipping, adjusting brightness, saturation, tint, blur, sharpen, and so on and so forth. Other features include adding text. Adding text to your thumbnail can help add more information to your video or put an attention-grabbing keyword. Stickers can also be added using the app alongside making collages and all in a sleek user interface without being haggled by ads. Another thing that makes Canva great is the fact that it has a big library of assets that is varied enough for you to find the one asset that fits your aesthetic. From stickers to illustrations, Canva has your back. One more thing, Canva will ask you to either log in if you already have a Canva account or use a Google, Facebook, or Apple ID. Adobe Express Graphic Design Similar to the Canva model, Adobe developed Adobe Express, an easy-to-use graphic design tool. It doesn't match Illustrator or Photoshop, but it is an app geared towards people who have little to no experience with professional graphic design and want to whip up a quick design for social media purposes. Just like Canva, Adobe Express has got your back with plenty of templates for different uses, from social media stories and posts to invitations and collages. Royalty assets are also available in the app, from fonts to icons and backgrounds and many more. The app also gives you the opportunity to edit your photos with effects and overlays. Made a vlog about your trip to Spain? Make your thumbnail a snapshot of your footage and edit it using the different tools provided by the app to make the image pop and slap intriguing text over it with the appropriate font to match the aesthetic and vibe of your video and ta-da! A thumbnail! And a beautiful one at that! The app is free and has free assets and all, but it does offer a premium membership that bumps up your experience with a lot more assets and features features to work with. It is worth noting that the app will ask you to either use your Adobe ID account or use your Google, Facebook, or Apple ID, and link it with your Adobe ID. Pixar Photo and Video Editor Pixar is yet another app that is both a photo and video editor at the same time, so you can edit your YouTube video and then immediately make your thumbnail right after and on the same app. Neat! As a photo editor, there are plenty of things that you can do with Pixar. For instance, you can use the background eraser and erase the whole background or replace it with something else. You took a photo and want to make it your thumbnail, but there's a fly or a lamp in the frame and it's ruining your shot? Remove it using the Remove Object tool. Other tools and features in the app include but are certainly not limited to, adding text with countless fonts, blurring, cropping, and flipping images, filter, face retouch, and stickers. Pixar is free, however, it does offer a premium version where you can have new assets and content consistently, as well as remove all the ads from the app. Photo Editor Collage Photor Photor is a, obviously, photo editing app. Its main focus is photo editing as well as graphic design. The app offers you both an easy and swift way to enhance a photo by adjusting the tone and the luminance, or use the advanced photo editing features the app has, such as curve, HSL, color balance, dehaze, denoise, and so on and so forth. The app also offers a variety of effects from retro to classic ones. You also have a lot of freedom when it comes to editing your photos with cropping, stretching, rotating, 
distorting and flipping tools. On top of offering plenty of templates for you to work with, the app also provides an array of resources for use. Photor is free, but like all the aforementioned apps, it provides in-app purchases in the form of a subscription that removes ads from the app, as well as provide new assets and content on a weekly basis. Photo Director, Photo Editor PhotoDirector is yet another photo editing app. It was developed by Cyberlink Corp. PhotoDirector is free but offers premium features through subscription, which we will talk more about a bit later. The app can be used on your thumbnails to give them character and make them pop. The app has your run-of-the-mill features such as brightness, saturation, and contrast adjustment, HDR, balance, and vignette tools to name a few, alongside other more advanced features such as object removal, face retouching, background modification, and replacement, and blur effects. Let's come back to the premium features a bit. The app puts a watermark on your creations, unfortunately, but the premium feature removes them, alongside removing the ads and providing content that is updated on a monthly basis. Pixlr Imagine Lab comes to us with Pixlr, a photo editing app. The app has plenty of features that we will explore in a second, but we thought it was important to say that Pixlr doesn't require you to create an account or logging. You just download the app and start editing right off the bat. This is great for those of you who don't want to go through that hassle. With that out of the way, let's explore some of the app's features. The app offers an auto-fix feature for a quick enhancement of your photo, but it also offers many tools to do that manually, such as focal blur, layers, adjustable transparency, effects, filters, and overlays. The app's features include a text tool with a plethora of font types. One more thing to know about Pixlr before we move on is that the app is free but contains ads. It also offers in-app purchases. GoDaddy Studio GoDaddy Studio is a graphic design and photo editing app developed by GoDaddy Mobile LLC. The app is a lot like Canva in the way it mixes graphic design and photo editing for an optimal result in whatever you are making, be it Instagram stories or YouTube thumbnails. Using the app, you can add text with a variety of fonts, remove backgrounds, use ready-made templates and layouts that match your needs, and much more. The app has all the tools and features to make a great thumbnail. All you need is a sprinkle of creativity. And that's it for our video today. We hope you enjoyed the video and, most importantly, found some value in it and found the right app for you. Let us know which one is your favorite in the comments below. And with that said, we hope to see you in our next one.